Hello, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use our easy effects. Today we're working with our love struck design and I've got a photo open all ready to use here in another um, window. So let's go ahead and click back over here into the easy effects. The first thing we want to do is make sure to click on our clip photo here layer. You can see that we've got it highlighted in yellow to make it easy for you to find since that's the only thing that you're going to be adding a photo to. Now let's go over to the photo we want to add. Um, I, again, my move tool is selected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click down on my photo and I'm going to drag it up to the Easy Effect tab and then I'm going to drop it onto the canvas. And what you do from here is you clip it to the photo layer. In order to do that, you can right click and choose Create Clipping Mask. And you'll see that it'll put your photo right in that heart. So all that's left to do now is just to size this to fit in the heart. So we're going to choose Edit, Transform, Scale. Now there's a couple of ways um, that we can go about um, scaling this proportionally. Um, one thing I always say is to hold down your Shift key and grab any of these four corners. Let's actually scroll out so you can see that. <clears throat> so holding down your Shift key, grab any one of these four corners here and you can drag it in. And that will make sure that we don't distort your image in any way. And you're just going to bring it in until it comes to the bottom of the mask or the top of the mask here. And you'll see when you've gone too far because the black shows up above. Um, okay, and the other thing that you can do if um, holding down the shift key, some people have a little bit of a hard time with that. You can just come over here and hit this maintain aspect ratio lock right there and that will ensure that your image aspect ratio is set. Once that's done, just move this into place where you'd like to see it and then hit enter on your keyboard and that's it. Uh, next thing, the last thing you want to do rather is just edit your text and in order to do that just double click on your T that will highlight your text here. You can go ahead and type over that. And same with this. This is also an editable text layer if you chose to. I think I'm going to leave that alone now. Um, but that's that's basically it. Um, this font that we're using is um, it's a limited free version of Penabico, which can be found on default font.com so I will um, make sure you have a link to that and that's it there you have it easy effects are as easy as one two three